Continuing with our Capitol watch in the last day of the legislative session, lawmakers wasting no time passing dozens of bills that will change how Colorado handles health care, marijuana and police reform. Megan Lopez has a closer look at what all was accomplished at the state Capitol. Representative Tipper votes yes. On the last day of the legislative session, things move at a different pace. Repass as amended. A little bit of fun, inevitably Thank some you, shenanigans. Speaker, members, I know this may be very foul to you <laughs> and quick work of bills as the regular rules are suspended. I think this is one of the most historic sessions I have been a part of, one of the most productive. We added uh, more information for in the final hours. Democratic leaders were able to pass a police reform bill to end qualified immunity for state patrol, a bill to limit insulin prices, a property tax reduction bill, a bill to add fees onto single use plastics, misdemeanor reforms and more. Last year, history made us. This year, we made history. We prioritized COVID relief. Some of the most contentious bills left on the calendar were either killed or faced significant last minute rewrites. The jail reform bill to change who was arrested and what type of bond they're offered was killed in committee after two Democrats joined Republicans to vote against it. So was a bill to change the rules around workplace harassment. And they get pushed to the end of session because they're really not ready. Meanwhile, the major reforms to the Sex Offender Management Board were completely scrapped and a bill to simply keep the board around for another two years passed. When you look at what didn't compared to what did, I think what's amazing is um, the long list of accomplishments. For Democrats, this session was productive. We said we we're going to do all those things, and now on the last day of session, um, I am very proud to say that we are going to do all of those things and more. Please close the machine. Republicans saw the session in a very different light. I think what we'll end up with is a lot of tough times, a lot of tough times for families in Colorado. We've, we've got new fees and charges. But both found a way to work together on bipartisan bills, too, for federal and state stimulus money to help Colorado recover. And both are happy the session is finally over. It's like the longest session ever. Always watching out for you, Colorado. Megan Lopez, News 5. And that brings us to today's KOAA digital survey. We wanted to know what do you think was the most important issue tackled by the Colorado legislature this past session? Gun reform, COVID-19 recovery, transportation or education. Let's go ahead and take a look at those results here. About 35% of you saying COVID-19 recovery, uh, about a quarter of you saying transportation uh, and then education as well. 26% of you and 15% saying gun reform, the most important issue tackled by the Colorado General Assembly. This was a really interesting session to follow because not only especially in terms of COVID-19 recovery, the state of course got way more revenue than they expected after making billions of right. dollars in cuts last year and to see how they were able to allocate that to those high priority areas in the state. Really fascinating. A lot of this uh, bipartisan work as well. Yeah, I was going to say that uh, spending a lot of money was the bottom line, no matter which one of those categories you chose. They spent a lot, but the money was there, as you mentioned, from all the cutbacks a year ago. But understandably, the COVID relief package and how that will be spread out and help so many people that are still recovering is obviously the key for most. Right, absolutely. And uh, it's interesting. We're already seeing some of those results teeter right there. If you